Welcome back to the winners area where we are celebrating the win of a lunar eclipse. She's now notched up five wins from as little as 15 starts for Alf Duncan and uh, Michael Roberts and Rachel Venica. Well, they're bang in form. They're in mustard form and uh, they really are in a good space at the moment. A lunar eclipse is indeed and so are the team at Michael Roberts Racing. Tandile is here. And uh, Tandile, uh, congratulations on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. You get a thousand rand for your uh, hard work. Well done. And Lunar Eclipse, who's not easy to work with, you're doing a sterling job. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well done. And congratulations, Tandile. And to see the joy <laughs> and the delight on their faces is just great. Michael, I don't know if Rachel's back yet, so let's chat. Uh, we're going to have to start charging you rent for these winner's boxes now. Well, you know, the horse are running well, thank God. You know, it's, 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 uh, you know, it's lovely to see, you know, yes. you know, owners pay, pays a lot of money for training fees and, and, and to keep the horses and, you know, it's nice to reward them, you know. But this filly, I mean, she's phenomenal. I mean, now to think she came to me as intractable, wouldn't race and to have won five races. I mean, she's got a beautiful pedigree for the, for the paddocks, you yes. know. Uh, he, uh, very much, and she has just matured and grown and grown. I mean, you know, um, every time I go into a box and you know, in the evenings I look at her and I thought, geez, you're getting taller and taller, you know. Now, and you know, uh, also, I mean, I mean, all credit must go to, you know, she's only got one ride at home, Sia Bonga. He rides her every single day, he works her. Every now and then, you know, I'd give, you know, Rachel a you know, chance to, you know, to get in the back, but very seldom. And also, Rachel, get on very well with her. You know, there's a bit of a connection here with her. And, you know, you can't really touch it with a whip. And uh, a brilliant, brilliant ride and a big thank you to Al Duncan. He had a nice winner yesterday with a sun blush. You know, he's been a lucky owner in my yard. And uh, what more can I say? You know, um, and my team, thank you very much. Michael, what's she like? Uh, let's talk about home time now when you're at home and, and you go into the box with her. Because oh, we can see when you go into the race course and it's a whole team effort and, and Sheldon's picked it up as well. But at home, when you go into her stable and you've got to do work with her, what's she like then? One of the quietest animal you ever could think of. You know, you, you could put a child in a box. But, you know, once she, le you know, she, she leaves the yard first and she comes back first all on her own. She does, she does hate horses around her, you know. And, uh, you know, that's why we found it about her. You know, you know, let her go and exercise on her own. She's much better. Well, that's an interesting story. Michael, well done to you and your team and to Alf and his family who are so passionate about the game. And uh, long may the winners keep coming for them and for you. Thank you very much. Lovely. Come on, Rachel. Yesterday, you and Carolyn were all dressed up in black and white. Carolyn's not today. She obviously hasn't got a runner. But uh, you in black and white. And uh, fantastic. Just, I'm gobsmacked. I asked Michael the question about what she like at home in, in, in the box. And, of course, you would have worked at the stables and been there. He said, as quiet as a lamb in the stable. Yes, and um, she's my absolute baby. She <laughs> adores carrots. So if ever I've got a chance to pop by and see her and give her some snacks, um, she just wants to cuddle and have fun. And she's just, she's really lovable. It's just, you know... With the anxiety of racing and the stress and the pressure she's under, of course she gets a bit of a handful. But she's not nasty at all, she's just excitable. Calvin came out from a wide draw and, and I just overheard him talking to his connections there and it just didn't seem to have the pace, etc. But that's for another day. But the point I'm making is you were focused, you were you know, in your position and, and whatever was happening on your outside, you weren't really concerned. Yes, I mean, when you go to the front, you know, you're just doing pace work on your own. So that's how we did it. And she's marvellous like that. She's learned how to race and uh, she's a very straightforward ride for me. Lovely. Well done. Well, Deez has spoken to you about the rest of your rides. And, uh, of course, to the Johnson team that sponsor you and, and the Duncans that are, are part of the uh, stable. And, 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 as Michael says, lucky owners. Just wonderful for Johnson, wonderful for the Duncans. Yes, I mean, we've been cracking um, plenty of winners for Mr. Duncan, and the support is always um, greatly appreciated. And for Mr. Johnson as well, you know, being my sponsor, it's wonderful to always ride winners in his silks, and we've got a couple of nice horses coming through of his. So it's all looking very positive at the moment. Rach, well done. Thank you very much. And as usual, I can never leave out when this pretty wins. What a fantastic job Mr. Roberts has done. You know, see a bong at home rides every day. Mr. Roberts has put hours and hours into her and to have come from being written in her passport that she'll never race again to become a five-time winner is it's just a feeling that you nothing comes close to you well, i think you and mr roberts better take sia bonga for an, a scrumptious breakfast at the clubhouse next week yes yeah, sia bonga will be looking forward to that because he always knows when the philly wins uh, there's something nice coming <laughs> well done rachel thank you spot on michael you're coming back to talk some more no no you finished okay <laughs> you, you looked like you were coming back to say one more word but uh, not lunar eclipse uh, is uh, the winner quite how's that for a story the passport said intractable will never race don't persevere they said i don't know we've got other ideas for you and uh, she's now won five races how's that for a story